If you say, I am not terribly lost, I am not horribly wicked, I'm not enslaved to my passions, I'm not powerless to do good, I'm a pretty good person. You are absolutely powerless. You are a terrible slave. Uh, you're the worst kind of slave because you don't know you are. On the other hand, the second thing, unfortunately the English translation doesn't bring it out. But if literally the Hebrew says, you will loathe the meat because you have loathed me. It doesn't just say you've rejected me. That's the way that it, it's translated, I know. It says you will loathe the meat because you've loathed me. You will lose your appetite for everything else because you have lost your appetite for me. Now here's what I'm trying to tell you. If you're a Christian and you're dealing with enslaving habits, it's not enough to say, bad Christian, stop that. And it's, it's not enough just to beat yourself up. It's not enough to say I'm gonna try harder and harder and harder. Now here's the answer. The real reason that you're having a problem with an enslaving habit is because you don't have an appetite. You're not tasting God. I'm not talking about believing. I'm not talking about even obeying. I'm saying tasting. Tasting. What do you mean, he used to say? Here's what I mean. I mean the solution, the way to get out from under enslaving habits, the secret to freedom is this. You've got to worship. You've got to have great worship. You've got to have weeping worship. You've got to have glorious worship. You've got to sense the greatness, sometimes be so moved, moved to tears, moved to laughter by what God is, who he is, and what he's done for you. And this has to happen all the time.